Flower Girls. And, oh my god, shoes. Let me get some shoes. Shoes. We don't know. Oh my god, shoes. Remember that? Anybody? Yes. That was early. That YouTube. was like, yes, YouTube, when there was like a featured page and that was always on it. Shoes. <laughs> anyway, so shoes are a growing DIY like trend that we're doing here. It's so funny because you had asked me years ago, like, can you DIY some shoes? I'd be like, no. But now the shoes that are in trend are just kind of DIYable, like the whole lace up mm -hmm. thing, whole pom pom thing. That's what we're doing today is a highly requested video. Mm -hmm. and I feel like I should know, but I don't really even know where this came from. It's just like a thing all of a sudden and people ask for it. And so we're showing you two ways that you can DIY these types of shoes. And if you guys already aren't subscribed, make sure you do that because we have lots of dope DIYs every single week, sometimes twice a week. What? All right, enjoy <laughs> the video guys. For these amazing pom-pom charm sandals, start with any basic flip-flop. These ones are from Ardeen and they were super inexpensive. We'll be using about five meters of this suede cord from the fabric store for the laces and we'll need to use a leather punch to punch small holes along the straps big enough for the cord to fit through. We're adding two right beside the middle toe strap, two halfway down and two near the back of the strap. Next we're taking this pom-pom trim from the fabric store and cutting four strips the length of the straps. Using a simple needle and thread, sew the pom-pom trim along the straps. If your pom-pom trim doesn't naturally have holes in it like ours does, you'll want to make sure you punch holes in these as well. Before we get to lacing, gather all of the accent pieces you want to add to your sandals. We're using pom-poms, tiny tassels, wooden beads, and little gold charms that were all on sale from the craft store. Take your suede cord and thread it through the two front holes from underneath. Cross the cord and thread it into the next two holes. Cross again and then into the last two holes and it should look something like this. Now it's time to add on your charms. For the charms with the jump ring, open the ring and slide them onto the cord. For the pom-poms, we're cutting them from this trim so they have little bits of thread attached to them. Use the thread to tie the pom-poms onto the cord in a knot. For our wooden beads, tie a knot in the cord on either side of the bead to keep it in place. For the charms that aren't held in place, make sure to tie a knot around the jump ring to stop the charm from sliding. Continue all the way up your cord, placing a charm, pom-pom, or bead every couple of inches. Once it's done, it looks so cute! To tie them up, crisscross the laces around your leg and knot them at the top. For this more simplified gladiator style, we're starting with this two-strap flip-flop, also from Ardeen. Cut both straps in half evenly. Fold the edge of your half strap over to create a little loop and stitch a straight line to hold this together. This is actually quite easy to sew up because these shoes are a faux leather that's pretty thin. Make a loop and stitch it up on the other side as well. For our back straps, we're creating loops and stitching them up as well. Once you're done, you should have four straps with loops on each end. For the laces of our gladiator sandals, we're using this flat braided cord from the fabric store. We bought five meters of this and split it into four pieces. Since this rope frayed pretty easily, we covered the ends with a tiny bit of electric tape. Tuck this end under to hide the tape and lay your rope along one of the remaining straps at the top. Use a needle and thread to stitch the strap and rope together. Repeat this on the other strap as well. To lace the shoes, slide the rope through the first loop, cross it over, and then slide it through the back loop. Once you're done, it'll look something like this. To tie up your shoes, cross the laces back and forth all the way up your leg, and then tie them in a knot at the top for that gladiator look. Alrighty. Hopefully you guys liked that. Uh, let us know which out of the two is your favorite sandals, and if you make them, please send them to us because don't send us the actual shoes. Send us photos. <laughs> <laughs> which would be so cute. Yeah, we love, and we also repost mm -hmm. photos on our Instagram if you guys didn't already know that. Go follow us on there and everywhere else. Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and you guys always ask how much things cost. Oh, yeah. We have a website, yes. thesorygirls.com, which is like our blog, and that's where we put like the difficulty, the cost, the supplies, like, that's where you could go if you need kind of like everything. Yes, like if you're going out shopping, you're like, I just need a shopping list, this is the place to find go it. To go to check it out. Yeah, the blog. And we'll link the blog post in the description below. I don't know if we've been doing that, but we'll start doing that so that it's like, it's there for you. It's All right, well thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. And we'll see you next time. If you like this video, make sure you like <laughs> it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. Bye. Bye.